Hi folks, Bob Dale from Southern Ring Marketing in Jackson, Mississippi. Where we sell an eclectic mix of things, folks. We sell hundreds of diesel trucks of all description, motorhomes, and day and night do love sports cars. Matter of fact, uh, we like every kind of sports car you can drag up. I particularly like Corvettes because I drove one 40 years until age, infirmities, and being 102 years old makes it about impossible for me to get in one, but I still love them. They make me happy to just look at one. It's a pretty nice car we're gonna list today, folks, this Corvette. Don't, I, it's not a show car, it's not a concourse car, but it's a really good car. I mean, it's a nice car, fast, everything about it is just kind of the way it ought to be. For the price, it's gonna be a great bargain. So if you've been wanting one and you've been gone to your dealer and you've got sticker shock about Corvettes and what they bring, look at this one closely because it's one everyone can afford. Dan, it's Dan's car and he just said he was going to sell it no reserves. So this is going to make someone a nice present for the holidays. It's a 2007 Corvette. 2000. Folks. 2000. I'm sorry, 2000. It's a 2000 Corvette. Got T-tops. It's got a... It's got a removable Targa roof. Yeah, uh, got a heads up display. The leather's good, the paint's good. I don't see any paint work around on it. I don't know if it'll show up in these pictures or not, but it's an original color. It's blue metallic, pretty nice car. Come on, we're gonna show it to you. Sitting on a good set of tires, wheels are all good. Our fine cleanup crew folks left this on the car. That's not in the paint, that's just spots there or something. I don't even know what it is. Uh, but you can see here the Targa roof that comes off. The leather looks good. Uh, I cranked it up and got in it and jerked it around. The windows worked and all that. It's only got 153,000 miles on it, so it's sure not hurt. But the good news is it's not going to be 20 grand either. Wheels are great, clean. There's no paintwork around that I can see. And Lift this up, it's clean as a pin in here. Uh, come over here. There you go. There's your uh, CD, CD player. changer. And All that CD changer. Carpet's nice, still got your flies here. You can see it here, that's, that's, that's not in the paint, folks. That's dust, that's our cleanup, folks. And Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and, but, They've been gone. They've been here, but they've really been on vacation since last Friday. But you look down here, look down the side, it's not chipped up, beat up in any way. A little touched up spot right there. Oh, I didn't see picture. that. Yeah, I didn't see it. You look in here, you got the original owner's manual here. Once again, see how nice the seats are? The dash is not cracked in any way, not beat up. They have they, the, the door shut good, it's tight, it's got a good sound to it. These are just cool cars, folks. They are just great. If you're under 60 years old, you need you one of these, I promise you. They'll make you happy every time you get it. <coughs> just looking at it makes me happy. But Dan says you're going to sell it no reserve, so someone's going to get a bargain. If you have any questions about this car, give Dan a call, 601-720-2857. If in fact you know what you want to give for it and want to make an offer, we do reserve that right, give us a call, 601-720-2857. But based on what it's going to bring, what we're going to sell it for, and how nice it is, it's going to be a great value, folks. Whoever buys this car is going to be tempted with it. They'll be glad they bought it. It's a 2000 Corvette. Target top, good set of wheels, got a great appearance to it. The interior's nice, the leather's nice. It's got the heads up display, which is cool and it works. Everything about it's kind of the way it ought to be. A nice 2000 Corvette that's not gonna break the bank. Thank you so much for watching our video. We do appreciate it. Look forward to talking with you about the car and seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. I accidentally hit the power button. I don't know where it cut off, but um, let me just rehash a couple things. Uh, you can see the engine lights on. That's because it has cutouts. You can hear them. I just opened them up. Now I'm going to close them back. Um, 
pretty high, expensive set of electric cutouts cost you about three or four hundred dollars but when you open them it throws the check engine light when you close them if you got a scan tool you can clear it or after a few starts it'll clear itself but um, once it's cleared as long as you don't open them back up it'll the engine light will stay off that's all it's on for but uh, it's got a nice Panasonic stereo one thing even though I'm driving on some of the worst roads in Jackson and the can the film may be shaky but you can tell this car is tight they're that, you know hit, hitting all these bumps but it's not squeaking not rattling not making a, uh, a bunch of racket I need to watch where I'm going film with one hand driving with the other is easier said than done um, I don't know how well it's going to show up in this video and one of these winter days when you, the sun's low and you can't see anything but the heads up display is there it works you can toggle it between oil pressure fuel volts it shows your rpm shows your miles per hour um, as soon as i go under this bridge and get into the shadow you'll be able to see it a little better but it's got two position memory seats the steering wheel had a cover on it when we got it so steering wheel is perfect there you can see the um, heads up display the only thing i know of on this car it doesn't work like it should this uh the climate control display doesn't light up it may just be the bulb in it i don't know but uh it's blowing out of the defrost which usually means there's a there's a vacuum leak or something something minor it's no big deal but and it works but you just can't see it so you just have to kind of turn it that's and really that's that's the only thing i can nitpick on this car mechanically is uh is that but we're going down the interstate it goes down the road just like it should drives great cruise control works turn it back off but it does work got the automatic dimming rear view mirror um, so you got good oil pressure no other warning lights are lit uh, other than that engine light for the, the cutouts. And um, I was going to show you the cutouts, so I knew the light would come back on, so I just didn't bother. But uh, it does have traction control. Headlights work, all that good stuff. Let me get in the shadow of this truck. All right, maybe now to hold this camera just right, you can see that heads up display. Uh, it's kind of washed out in the video, but in person you can see it just fine even in the daylight But uh, if you want to fly and drive this car home you can I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to hop in it and go anywhere. It's uh, In good shape Like I said, I, I would drive it wherever if you want to fly in we'll pick you up at the airport No extra charge. We'll bring you back to our place in Mississippi here in Jackson and we'll do all the paperwork and feedback and everything and let you get on the road or we also understand that most of our customers are buying from us because they're getting great deals on rust-free vehicles so uh, not everybody has time to spend a few days on the road picking up a car so if you think you'll need it shipped don't let that process intimidate you because if you look online at these shipping quotes Odds are, depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can beat the average shipping quote by as much as half off. The reason for that is most of these uh, shippers, they're not actually shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road. They're just brokers. Uh, they're charging you hundreds of dollars just for the privilege of posting your vehicle and getting it shipped for you. And then when they, they say, well, pay the balance when it's dropped off, well, that balance is all you're really paying for shipping uh, the rest just going in the broker's pocket and they all use this one website that's not open to the public to uh, to arrange their loads and we join that site we pay a gigantic monthly fee to be a member and that's so we can offer to arrange shipping for our customers we don't charge any markup there's no extra charge we do it just as a, a courtesy to our customers and um, if you're interested, you can shoot me a text or an email with your uh, zip code, 
and I'll be glad to get you a quote on shipping. A good ballpark quote. It won't be an exact quote because it can vary some, but uh, it'll be a good ballpark quote on shipping. Or if you're near Atlanta or Dallas or pretty much the entire state of Florida, then we can get you an extremely good quote on shipping. So just contact me and uh, I'll be glad to let you know what that is. But like I said, we encourage everybody just fly in, drive it home. I mean, we're running down the road doing 70. No problems. I can let go of the wheel. Doesn't pull to the left or right. Doesn't pull or vibrate when I hit the brakes. I mean, it, it goes down the road like it should. Is it a perfect car? No. Is it a brand new car? No. Uh, but it's a good car. It's solid. Uh, one thing I like, the little uh, cutouts on the fenders. There, somebody stuck some LEDs in them so when at night they light up. I, I like it. It's kind of cool. If you don't like it, we'll pull them out for you. Just let me know. It's not a big deal. But uh, Anyway, if you have any questions about this car, give me a call. You want to make an offer on the car, give me a call. Uh, we are open to offers up until the last day of the sale. After that, we can't stop it. It's just got to run. Uh, but until then, you want to make an offer let me know um, but it's all it's selling no reserves so if nobody makes me a, hits my price then uh, it's gonna be bidding and the high bidder is gonna own it so uh, like I said give me a call if you have any questions 601-376-9869 otherwise appreciate you watching the video and um, listening to everything we have to say about the car and we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. One last thing, I went ahead and cleared the engine light off so you can see that it does go off once it's cleared and I can turn it off, crank it back up. You can see all the ABS traction, all those lights come on. Uh, everything's good. So. Thanks again for watching. Take care.